you'll notice that the items in this estimate were also assigned to a task or an activity ID. So I have the ability to take every item in the estimate and assign it to a scheduling task or a scheduling activity. The power of that is when I go back and I look at those assignments and I look at my task table, for example, I can see over here a kind of a preview of my dollars for each one of those activities or tasks. If I want to take the information in this estimate and transfer it to pro either Primavera or Microsoft Project, I could come in here and just go to my tools and say, I want to create a cost and resource loaded list of tasks in either Primavera or Microsoft Project. And I could do that simply by coming over here and saying, I want to, for example, I want to create a Microsoft Project schedule from this estimate that we're currently looking at. When I do that, you can see I start feeding Microsoft Project with the information from this estimate. So I begin to get a cost and resource loaded list of activities from the estimate. And the, the time savings of not having to build that information into my task list from a printed copy of the estimate um, is, is huge. So huge cost savings. I can see the individual activities and tasks. I can see the makeup of all those tasks and activities, again, very, very quickly. And as I scroll down and I begin to look at these things, I can see the individual resources that are listed here. I can even see the cost. What came over to Microsoft Project from WinS as it relates to cost for each of these tasks? I could go in Microsoft Project, insert a column, insert my cost column, and I can see that WinS even populated the cost for each one of those tasks. So we've dramatically reduced the time it takes to set up either a list of cost and resource loaded tasks in Microsoft Project or a cost and resource loaded list of activities in Primavera.